every now and then I look at the Spotify top 50 global charts to see what's going on in the world of music. And sometimes I find a song that makes me think, I wish somebody would remix that. And today this song is ABCDEFU by Gale. Welcome to a brand new episode of Remixes I Wish Would Exist. So I have the song here in Ableton Live and I already aligned it to the grid and made sure the tempo is correct. That's always the first step. You know, if I turn on the metronome here, you can hear that it's perfectly aligned. And this here will actually also be the perfect moment where I would bring in my remix. So this is where we will start our idea. Beautiful. All right, so let's add maybe a bass line. I already have a bass line somehow in my head. Maybe something like that. Let's see. Let's like this and then do the same here, maybe. Yeah. Perfect. A top loop like that can be really useful. Yeah, so much more groove already, so that's really cool. That's a really nice foundation we can build on. We kind of missed the main element of the remix yet, but we will try to do that right now. I actually want to use a big chord stack patch that I made recently and that could work really well here. Check that out. As you can see here, we have a Serum patch here and a Silent One patch and it's basically just lots of detuned saw waves. So what makes this sound really cool is actually what happens here in the LFO tool here. As you can see, I'm modulating this rate. When I play a chord here, Oh yes, that is sick. So I extracted some of these uh, parts here from the original, just some small chops to remind the listener a little bit about the original. Heavily processed to not interfere with the rest of my music here. Very rough, low end cut, OTT, of course, a little bit of distortion and some golfers here to kind of tame it a little bit. Listen to how that sounds in context. Perfect, um, that's already a really cool idea. What else? Yeah. What we now need is definitely something to prepare the listener somehow for what's to come. So we kind of need to anticipate what is happening in the drop a little bit. So what we can do, for example, here is um, using some filter and some sound design aspects. You can see that here in the bottom right to kind of tease what's, what the chords are doing in the drop here. And we played it uh, above the original, so to say. So now we need lots more build-up thingies. Let's call them build-up thingies. All right. Final result. I was into you, but 